Hello everyone, I'm Yoshi Kigami, president of BOSS, talking from Japan. So today's bird is Matt. Hi Matt. Hi Yoshi-san. Yes, uh, I'm Matt, the European product manager for BOSS, based in London. And welcome to Talk with BOSS. This is our regular live screen, uh, stream where we talk uh, all about different BOSS product every week and give you some insight into their development. And Yoshisan, do you want to introduce today's theme? Yes. Today we are going to talk about DR01S Rhythm Partner. Ah, yes, the DR01S. So for those of you unfamiliar um, with this product, DR01S is our Rhythm Partner. Mm. Um, it's more than a, a drum machine or a metronome. It's what we called uh, the world's first virtual percussionist. Um, so the first question is, you know, what inspired the development of DR01S? Yeah, when we uh, developed DR01S in 2017, uh, we also released 82, 87, mm -hmm. and also V8 for acoustic yes. guitar player and vocalist. You know, for acoustic guitar players, uh, very easy, convenient to use something stuff like a gadget type of product it yes. is very good for their you know uh, play so mm -hmm. first time our very basic concept that was called no cable product you yes know? so we are at the same time we were uh, developing some uh, wireless technology mm -hmm. which is now wn20 or also, was air. Uh, this is mm -hmm. evolving to the was air. So we were yes. uh, made a, a lot of kind of like very easy using product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's um, it's interesting because it's not necessarily always just one concept for one product. It's a a concept that we present to the engineers mm -hmm. that develops many different products you know, no cable or, or something like that. And I guess for many players, especially acoustic players, they don't want to have to prepare a bunch of extra equipment just to, to play, right? Yes. You know, playing acoustic guitar, it's a just grab acoustic guitar, then play. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. also they don't connect anything like amplifier. <laughs> also, you yeah. know, even they don't come to music shop. So yes, we yeah. wanted to make very convenient uh, stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, very fun to play with acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. very, very much the uh, basic concept. Yeah, it's um, like you say, sometimes these, these players just have an acoustic guitar and then that, that is it. Mm -hmm. And as the name suggests, you know, the, the original concept was the, the rhythm machine for the acoustic mm -hmm. guitar player. Yeah, so that is, you know, much more convenient image compared to rhythm machine. Mm -hmm. So that is good for, of course, acoustic guitar, but not only for acoustic guitar. Uh, maybe good for ukulele and also vocalists, such kind of people. And there are a lot of, you know, rhythm machines in, in the world, but mm -hmm. everything needs to prepare something. You know, program yeah. pattern, uh, selecting sound. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's not not easy. You know, so acoustic guitar player they are much more, how to say, intuitive people, right? Yeah, just yeah. want to get fun rhythm. So uh, we wanted to make much more intuitive uh, product. So uh, I would like to introduce some. Uh, sound because uh, sound selection is a little bit different from a regular rhythm machine because uh, acoustic guitar group is yeah doesn't have big rhythm section right <laughs> yeah yeah so you know maybe this is a very basic uh, drum sound drum kit sound uh, the OS has very much simple sound like a shaker, also tambourine, 
<laughs> Cajon. You know, yeah. we can see a lot of, you know, small acoustic bum with Cajon and also shaker mm -hmm. things. So, we wanted to make such kind of more uh, suitable for acoustic guitar player sound. Yeah, again, very, very much that kind of grab and go, offering some sounds that accompany the, the acoustic guitar or acoustic instrument rather mm -hmm. than a big rock drum sound or, or something similar. It's just, you know, sort of simple and kind of smooth. And obviously a very, as you say, a very intuitive uh, operation as well. And uh, another question that we had was obviously the size. It's very suitable for a mm -hmm. kind of uh, living room or, or lounge, you know, and also no complaint from kind of uh, a partner or, you know, maybe housemate because it's a great volume and, and size as well. Yeah, the size is very important for us. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as I said, just grab acoustic guitar. That means we want to uh, immediately uh, play back with rhythm machine, rhythm yeah. partner at the same time. So mm -hmm. the design should be much for living room. Kind of like beside the table, on the table. Yeah. You coming back from the job and sitting down mm -hmm. couch, grab yeah. acoustic guitar. I don't know which is first, uh, drinking beer, uh, grab the <laughs> acoustic guitar and play yeah. some song. So for that purpose, uh, design should be uh, much for living room, like a uh, kind of like fancy, fancy design or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and also, you know, uh, sitting on the couch and mm -hmm. play the acoustic guitar with very comfortable uh, backing rhythm sound. Yeah. That is very important. Yeah, I think, um, as, as you say, many acoustic players, um, from, from what we looked at, you know, they will come home or, you know, they're sitting around. They just want to just pick up and play. But sometimes just playing can be kind of dry. So it's nice to have something that can sit in their house, fits in with the design mm -hmm. um, and can offer, you know, a nice play, almost like a second player for their acoustic sound. And also it's battery powered. Right, so you can take it anywhere, so <laughs> even to the beach or, or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. <laughs> that is next vacation for you, right? Yeah, me, me, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I think I think you know, uh, you know, and we'll we'll come to that in a minute. But great yeah. for playing outdoors and and busking as well. So it's a nice to have that feature. And then in terms of the the sound, mm -hmm. um, a question that we had was obviously it's a kind of small size. But it's loud enough to play with acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. How how did you realize that the sound? Of yeah, it the was it was to... really difficult, in, in mm -hmm. technically, you know. Yeah, we wanted to make that small as much as small, but for mm -hmm. getting louder sound, uh, bodies mm -hmm. bigger body is better to getting louder sound, of course, and also yeah. you know it's limited. Uh, Speaker size, mm -hmm. so that we made we needed to make a balance of mm -hmm. size and the sound. Yes. So, so design you can see this design. You know, mm -hmm. this is almost a speaker size. And yes. Yeah. 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 So we decided to use ten inch speaker and design minimum body size mm -hmm. so uh, you know small body we have uh, a lot of limitation so mm. but we wanted to use bigger bigger speaker mm -hmm. and also we need to equip uh, batteries uh, six w batteries inside yeah. here yeah and also you know, another important thing is uh, long a long life, a uh, uh, battery life. So yeah. this provides 10 hours by alkaline battery. Yeah, amazing. Mm. I guess um, many people see the finished product and don't understand or or realize some of the difficulties or, or challenges. Yeah. You know, especially using a 10 inch speaker for, for more sound rather than some other products maybe with a much smaller speaker. Mm -hmm. um, was there any 
difficulties or, or limitations with the engineers developing mm -hmm. the hardware? Yeah, of course, I don't, you know, making louder sound is very much difficult. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, sometimes acoustic guitar player doesn't want to much louder sound. The sm mm. In the smaller sound, we wanted to make a uh, good balance of the sound. You know, yeah. uh, low volume sound, you can not hear uh, low end sound. That is mm -hmm. uh, provided by Fletcher Manson Curve. Yes, yeah. So we adjusted uh, a sound level, of low, low frequency level by mm -hmm. volume. So, and also this is very small body. You cannot see, but this has a basilic port. Yeah. So you can, um, so I think that's the first thing that lots of people notice when they do try one mm -hmm. is that even at minimum volume, every sound feels a lot more real and a lot more organic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it doesn't feel kind of just, just like a rhythm machine. It feels like someone is playing along. And then we've got the louder volume if you want to play you know, outside or in a cafe or some performance um, as well. And in, in terms of the design, uh, you know, one of the questions was, obviously the appearance is, is kind mm -hmm. of like a, a bongo or, or, oh, or a percussion yeah, yeah. instrument. What Was there any sort of ideas behind the, the design when you were making it? Yeah, we, we created a lot of design and mm. very, 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 very fast one was Kind of like regular design but as <laughs> i said we wanted to use max size of the speaker and <laughs> also uh, we wanted to have a smaller body and <laughs> also we wanted to realize some fancy design much yeah. for living room <laughs> so uh, we uh, made a lot of drawing and also we uh, tried a lot of colors like uh, a green metric, blue metric. I remember, yeah. We had a pinky one, right? Ah, yeah. You remember? I remember. Yeah. yeah. But everybody said this kind of like a woody, woody uh, surface is yeah. good for acoustic guitar player. Yeah. This is not think... easy to make, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember you saying there is some difficulty yeah. using that using that finish, but I think what's nice is it fits in with the aesthetic of mm -hmm. uh, you know the acoustic player and, and also their kind of living room or playing area mm -hmm. um and, and like i said it, it kind of almost looks like an instrument so for kind of a player having mm -hmm. it with them performing it's almost like there you know is another instrument yeah. with them but mm -hmm. no cables or anything um and and i guess the overall design comes from the passion and understanding of the boss engineers mm -hmm. to realize sometimes you know a more fluid fluid design and um i guess we should talk a little bit about the 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 sound and, and the playback because mm -hmm. the playback button and the ui design yeah. are very simple right yes you know playback button is on the top this is mm -hmm. easy to access you can hit the top but yeah. even if you put the ones on the uh, floor Mm -hmm. You can kick this, this <laughs> yeah. You know, so anyway, we wanted to be a O1S much more intuitive and easy to access, easy to use. So mm -hmm. this kind of a lot of you know uh, small, small detailed point, but we uh, uh, we were uh, uh, improving a lot of things, mm -hmm. and also you know. This has a lot of uh, sound variety, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but layer is very easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will try this a little bit. Oh, shaker. Maybe this is better to listen to sound. <laughs> Tambourine, bongo and conga. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can add the drums. So you can make a layer by using this simple, not, uh, simple buttons. <coughs> o 
also, even if you want to change the pattern, mm -hmm. uh, you can use favorite uh, favorite function. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, what's great, uh, you know, that I've had from from using it is that mm -hmm. every time I turn it on, it's a you, I can easily create a different backing. You know, not always just the simple, you know, rock drum beat or something. You know, you can layer and change yep. instruments depending on your mm -hmm. your feeling, right? So, um, you, you, so can, you can select the seven different sounds from 18 rhythm instruments. Yeah. Also, you can use a foot switch for live performance. And also yes. this has a line output. So if mm -hmm. you play in a big audience, you can use PA. So, yeah, and the great thing about the foot switch is the ability to then, um, you know, change the variation or even a one shot of mm -hmm. particular rhythm types. Yeah. So you can actually start to create a, a more varied performance as well. Also, um, this has one shot uh, sound playback function. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite sound? Well, I, I actually really like in the hidden in there we've added some environmental sounds so there's mm -hmm. also some sounds of some waves or birds in oh. the background <laughs> oh, you can imagine, Very good. imagine like, ne next vacation huh? <laughs> yeah yeah exactly we we found that some ukulele players love mm -hmm. tr1s so you can set the kind of wave sound simple percussion mm -hmm. it's almost like you're on holiday or something <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Um, okay, so with um, if that, let's have a look and um, let's, let's a shout out to some of the people um, watching. Mm -hmm. Hello to Alex, uh, who's watching now. Um, Rafi as well. Um, also, uh, Isaac, who says, boss is the boss. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so we've got, oh, and Nadar uh, is in the group as well. So yeah, welcome to everyone, everyone watching. Mm -hmm. um, as always, please, you know, if you've got any comments on what we're talking about, uh, you know, please feel free, um, especially on the, the DR1 OS. Um, okay, yeah, that's everything that we've got that there. And I can see that our boss team are also replying to a couple of the comments there as well. So yeah, that's, that's everything on uh, DR01S. Mm -hmm. Again, if you haven't tried it, I think it's a fantastic um, little product to go and try, especially if you're an acoustic player, uh, ukulele, violin, or, or as Yoshi-san said, a singer as well. You know, the, you know a great virtual percussionist. Mm -hmm. um, so, Yoshi-san, do you want to talk a bit about uh, next theme? Yeah. Uh, I want to talk, but I cannot tell you today. Uh, uh. <laughs> you know... Tomorrow we will have a big announcement. So yeah. next week we uh, we will talk about tomorrow's announcement thing. Yeah, yeah. very very cool. So when, when for we, everyone, when are we spread the information tomorrow? Yes. So uh, Thursday, seventeenth uh, of September, uh, we'll be announcing um, some products on eight a.m. Uh, GMT, uh, four p.m. JST or uh, 0 a.m. Uh, midnight um, PDT. Um, so please check all the boss uh, channels tomorrow for that information. And as Yoshi-san says, we will be talking about those next yeah. week. Yes. Very exciting. Please look, <laughs> Very... Uh, please look forward to seeing that. Yes, it's, it's going to be amazing. So, um, you know, we'll post up some announcements about Talk With Boss uh, after this. And so please tune in for that. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in this week um, and listening. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.